she? She'll be here. Come on. Well, if he doesn't get into surgery soon. Ah, finally. Got here as fast as I could. What's the status? His BP is 72 over 40. His heart rate is 126. Yeah. Any neurological response? No, none. You said three liters of crystalloids. The old neg is on its way. Who's on gas? Burkus. He's in with Kevin. Good. X-rays? Oh, they're on their way. Sorry I got so late to the party. Just hang in there, Eve. Come on, people. Let's go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Well, I know you're not going in there. Dr. Quarterman. Dr. Lambert. Okay. Yeah, we do. Okay, make sure that comes up. I don't know. We're trying to figure that out. Gloves, please. Listen, um, Eve told me that they have about an hour after Kevin was stabbed to operate, and after that, his chances go way down. What, what time is it now? Scott, the hour's almost up. It's almost gone. Damn it, Julie. You, you really actually believe Julie was the one who stabbed Kevin? Of course I do. I saw it on the security camera. And you're, you're sure it was Julie? I saw it in black and white. But you, that tape, you, you mean Julie, no doubt in your mind, none? Without a doubt, Lucy. I am telling you, I didn't do it. I Julie, didn't. Julie, don't say another word till we get a lawyer here. The lawyer's going to help her this time. Just sit down right here. What's going on here? I just stopped by your apartment, and your neighbors tell me you've been arrested. They think I tried to kill Kevin, but it wasn't me. I didn't stab him. I didn't. Eve called it. A knife pierced the left ventricle. We're going to have to crack the chest. And the knife is acting as a plug. You're trying to remove it, it without... Be easy. That's right. So take some time, which we don't have a lot of. Scalpel. Okay, let's go. Some suction. Thank you. I'll take the suction, Dr. Here. Here. Right, here. Sponge? Sponge? Has Julie been arrested? Um, well, Mac was on his way over there, but she's probably on the run. I just, I can't even believe this. I, you know... She saved Christina and that plea she made on the stand. I know. Well, obviously, uh, she was not as well as we thought, or innocent for that matter. Scott, if Kevin dies, if, if Lu Kevin... Lucy, that's not going to happen. He's going to be okay. He's going to be the godfather of Christina, and that's the way it's going to be. He was so sweet at the christening, you know? Remember that poem and the way he held her? And I knew that he was right, the, the guy that should be there. If anything happened to us to protect her and guide her, who knew that Kevin was the one who needed protecting? I should have known. You should have sensed it. We should have known this. Wait a minute. Don't do that. Do not blame us. Don't blame yourself. No one could have known this was going to happen. Don't go there. Come on, let's see if there's any news. <sighs> Have you heard anything at all? Is Monica here? Did she arrive? There, there's no word. Yeah. I just wish someone would tell us something. I'll go see if Karen knows. She... Oh, here she is. Monica got here. Kevin's in surgery. Oh. Well, how long before we'll know something? It's hard to say. But he's, he's, he's going to make it, isn't he? I mean, I mean Monica is the, is the best. She's... Uh, yes, yes, Victor, she is. Kevin is in great hands. I just wish I knew who'd done this terrible thing. Do the police know anything? Julie did it. Oh, what? Yeah, they caught her on the security camera at the church. She attacked him. Oh, I can't believe it. I wonder how that jury is going to feel. We all knew how much she hated Kevin. Shouldn't come as any surprise she wanted him dead. Chris, I didn't do this. There's... Okay, There's okay, no... just calm down. Calm down. We're gonna get this taken care of and you'll be home before you know it. She's not going anywhere, not with the evidence we've got. 
What evidence? I wasn't anywhere near Julie, Kevin today. Julie, what did I tell you? Chris, not... I don't need an attorney. I have got nothing to hide. Well, that's what you think. Okay, well, if you've got such overwhelming evidence, why don't you share it with us? Because I'm not obligated to. But maybe I will. Maybe I will. That way, Julie will realize how guilty she is, and she'll do us all a favor and confess. Just tell us what you've got, or what you think you've got. How about a videotape of Julie attacking Kevin at the church? Is that good enough for you? No. No, that's impossible. I wasn't at the church today. You don't get it, lady. You don't get it. We saw you. All right, you knocked him out, and then you dragged him into that room, and then you stuck a knife in him. No, I didn't. Booker, I'm headed to GH. I'll get right out of here. You know what? Right now, right now, it's attempted murder. But if Kevin dies, so help me, I'll pull the switch myself. It's impossible. OK, Julie. Look, it's just me and Chris here now, and you know you can trust both of us. What are you saying? What I'm saying is I want you to tell us both exactly what happened today. There is nothing to talk about. I wasn't at that church today. Well, Commissioner Scorpio seems to think that he has a tape that proves you were. Julie, is, is there any possibility at all that you could have blacked out and you just don't remember? No! Well, you were very upset about Kevin becoming Christina's godfather. Well, that doesn't mean I wanted to kill him! Julie, calm down. No, I am being arrested for something I didn't do. How do you expect me to calm down? Well, there's a simple way to clear this all up. If you weren't at the church, then where were you? I went to Jasmine Island. To the cliffs. You went to the place where you and Greg Cooper held all those people hostage. Yes. Why would you do that? I, um... I've been having dreams... about the general homicide murders. And I had to go back to try and sort it all out. Why didn't you tell me about these dreams? I am your doctor. As a matter of fact, we had a session scheduled for today, and you didn't show up. It slipped my mind. Our regular sessions? You're the one who's always telling me that I need to start doing things for myself, stop depending so much on other people, and that is what I'm I trying to do. I never suggested that we stop our session. Well, Rachel, I can't run to you every time there's a problem. I want to help you, Julie. That is why I'm here. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it seems that I'm grilling you, but I am on your side. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave you alone. And if you decide you wanna talk, you go ahead and give me a call. She thinks I did it. I could see it in her eyes. After everything we've been through, after everything we've been through, she thinks I went to the church and stabbed Kevin. Julie. No, no, it's all right. No, as long as you believe me, that's all that matters. All right, stand by with the clamp above the ventricle. Mm -hmm. Suction. Got it. Here we go. Okay, easy does it. Now, easy does it. All right. Down. Okay, nice. Sponge. Okay, easy Sponge. with that. Okay. Right. Got suction in here. There you go. Uh -huh. you got suction in here. It's clamped. Yep. All right, let's sit through the laceration and close him up. Yep. Oh, damn, we got a bleeder. Okay, the media starting filling with blood. Let's go. Nice, good. Let's go. Heart rate's at 136. Increased fluids. It's gotta be another tear yep. in the posterior oh, ventricles. Lift the heart. Yeah. He something's wrong, I know. Found it. Great. Just get a cut on it. Stop the bleeding while I suture. Just keep sewing, I'm on it. Maybe it would be better if you don't watch. 
Would you leave if it were Joe? Let's get you into some clean clothes. You must have something in the on-call room you could put on. I can't leave him. Eve. No. I shouldn't have left him in the first place. I shouldn't have. It's my fault. I knew we were getting death threats. And when he got the death threats, I, I followed him around like some neurotic, overprotective mother. I, 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 I couldn't back off, but he, he, he got bugged by it, so Eve, I, I Eve, did back Eve, off. Stop. No, stop. I backed Listen off, and if I hadn't listened to the christening, this never would have happened. Me. Stop. You know Kevin. He never would have let you leave the christening just to watch over him. You're right. Yes, he can be pretty stubborn. Let's make that very stubborn. This is a, a flower from one of the arrangements at the christening. He, he stole it. <laughs> Sounds like heaven. Yeah. But I, um, I told him not to steal it, you know, to, to put it back. This is church, you know, and he must have, um, he must have put it in my pocket when I wasn't looking. I am gonna give that boy hell. Wait till I get a hold of him. Just wait. I've lost one son already. Huh. Huh. Victor, you're not going to lose him. You're not. Karen, what is it? What's happening? Oh, he's hanging in there, but he still has a long way to go. Okay. O okay. Lucy. Oh, Mac. How is he? I'm so glad you're here. He's he's in surgery. But he's going to be okay. I, I, I don't know. They don't know that. I should have put a guard on him. I should have put a guard on him the minute I heard about the threats. I should have done something. No, Mac. He wouldn't have had that. You know, Kevin, he'd never put up with something like that, ever. Mac, is Julie in custody? She's being booked right now. Of course, she's denying everything. Well, of course, but any jury, they look at the tape. I knew she would hurt him. I knew it the minute they set her free, but there was nothing I could do about it. I better make a call. Excuse me. Yeah. Hey, just... Don't do that. Don't go there for now, okay? Don't blame yourself, please. Lucy, I'm the one that got her off. Hey, hello. Scott, it's Julie. What do you want? I need your help. I am at the PCPD, and they've arrested me for stabbing Kevin. Let's go. Come on, let her finish, man. Please. Scott. Scott, you have to help me. This is my one phone call, and you're my only chance. Please, please come down here right away. That's nice work. Well, he's not out of the woods yet. He's lost a lot of blood. And there's no telling whether those suture sites will clot under pressure. Well, all we can do is hope for the best. Pray he hangs on. It shouldn't be too much longer. Thanks. Mary, did Kevin get a page from the hospital about Neil? Now that I'm aware of, why? Because he left the christening because he did get a page about Neil. And you think that was her, Julie? I know it was. Which proves how crazy she is. She plotted to do this. This was completely premeditated. Lucy, I, I just checked in with Lee. He's going to stay with Charlene and the girls. Good. Are, are they okay? Yes, I mean, they're, they're fine, but Serena's a little shaken by it all. 
W what did Lee say to her? Well, he, he just told her that Kevin had an accident. Oh, that poor little pumpkin head. She must be so worried about him. She's really crazy about him, isn't she? She absolutely adores him. That's part of the reason I wanted to... I wanted Kevin to be Christine's godfather. And he will. Lucy, I know things look pretty bad right now, but things have a way of turning around when you least expect it. You mean, like with Neil? Yeah. Thank you, Karen. Dr. Foster? To the Excuse me? Dr. Frank Foster to the pharmacy. You. You know what I was just thinking about? Mm, tell me. Last Thanksgiving at the lighthouse. Oh, that, huh? Well, you know, Kevin told me about that. You dressed up as a pilgrim. And you served, what was it, squab? Partridge. Ah. Oh. To be authentic. That's what they served in 1621. 1621 partridge, and that's very interesting. It was inedible. <laughs> Monk went along with it, the way he always does, no matter how much I get on his nerves. I tell you, mm. if he pulls through this, I am going to make such an effort to be less annoying. <laughs> Kevin does not find you annoying. Mm hmm Your nose is growing. Okay. Maybe he finds you eccentric, perhaps. But I know he would not have you any other way. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you're just telling me that to make me no. feel better, it's working. <laughs> He made it through the surgery, oh. but he's still very critical. Oh, oh but he made it. Oh, oh, oh. He's going to be good. Oh. Oh. What about his neurological status? Why are you asking about that when his injury was to his heart? Well, wait a minute. When his heart stopped beating, he lost oxygen to the brain. Yeah, and we don't know for how long. But what does all that mean? Well, it means that he could have sustained some neurological damage. Really starting to believe you were innocent. Me and a lot of other suckers. I it... forget it. Forgot. Well, it's uh, always nice to be back in Denham. Though this isn't quite as flattering as the Fern Club line. But what do you think? I think we have a serious problem, and this is no time to be joking. Don't you think I know that? I can't stand the idea of being locked up again, of being away from you and Christina. Chris, Chris, please, please don't let this happen. Julie, what can I do? The police have a video. It's tape. fake. It's fake. I don't know how or why, but I know that I didn't try and stab Kevin today, and, and you've got to help me prove that. We're going to fight this thing, but... But what? You don't believe me either? No, of course I do. I just... I have questions. Like, did anyone see you at Jasmine Island today? I don't know. I don't know. The place is so deserted this time of year. Well, what about on the way there? Or coming back? Anyone who could give you an alibi? Do I need one? For the police you do, yes. And what about for you? Julie, I'm just trying to help you out here. Okay, Mac needs an alibi. Well, I don't have one. Except that I swear I didn't do it. You told me the other night that you weren't sure if you killed those others. And sometimes I'm still not. But Chris, I swear to you that I did not try and kill Kevin. You have to believe me.
Cast your vote in the Port Charles Weekly Poll, only at ABC.com, part of the Go Network. It's all led up to this. Once this ruling comes down, you will never, ever touch her again. Will Adam and Liza lose Colby? I'm begging you to help me keep her. Or will a surprise witness save them? I have information. I can stop this hearing dead in its tracks, and I will. It's Judgment Day on All My Children, ABC Daytime.